Okay, for today's weekly comment, right? I'll be looking at uh, Aero USD. And before we look at Aero USD from US dollar, the um, bar chart, we saw how we have um, commercials right here. They are buying from this very candle. They start showing their leg that they are buying. So it gives you kind of like an indicator, or I would say a leading indicator of the buyers. So right here, you have an increase of the buyers. So it's also an indicator right here. So right here also increase, which is uh, this last push right here. But at this level, there's no increase, neither a decrease. So this means we can, that this our market can likely do and this time. The market can go into consolidation and here, or we have a little retracement then push and this. That's why so which can give us idea of what we expect on Euro usd since that is what we can expect on Euro usd we have major structure range right here so right the first one is the major structure which is this aftermarket broke this structure we have this major range right here so what this major range right here the next thing we expect of price is to give us somewhat up push right here since we're expecting up push on arrow I've been bearish for a while now, but after this uh, interest rate cut they had, which has been putting pushing market down for a while, uh, market now is trying to what retrace a little before we expect what expansion to the downside at least this level before we see maybe a bigger retracement. So the first expectation is that I expect price to retrace into this range before we see lower prices or retrace into this range before we see lower prices. So that means for this week, I'm expecting this, either short-term consolidation or a short-term uptrend and a downtrend that is into this level, then push down, or we have a clear uptrend into this level. So this is my first expectation on this since we have already discussed US dollar on the bar chart, which is my expectation, I'm expecting the market to retrace and then into this uh, infrastructure right here, into this imbalance right here, this below imbalance right here before we see upper price, or we can trade a little bit lower into this level before we see higher prices. On GEO, uh, we have market reading below this low. Since we have market reading below this low, we have a lot of liquidity right here. A lot of liquidity right here. So we have this lower low, lower high, a lower low, lower high, a lower low, a lower high right here. So we have this uh, lower low, lower highs, and market has induced this structure. And we have a sharp movement right here to the downside. On H4, we look deeper into it based on market expectation. Then we can expect market to trade at least in this rejection block right here. Into this block that is the first view for the week i expect market to trade into this level then a little push uh down before we see price running into this level so this is my second view on this so the first view is running into this level then the second view is to push into this bigger imbalance right here so which is my major view so i expect market to run into this imbalance right here. So we'll have uh, other pair like uh, AUD, uh, New Zealand, USD. Since we have this New Zealand, USD, I marked this area earlier on, so where price can trade into. And uh, on this pair, the area I was expecting to buy, which is this larger imbalance, market has trade right below it. So we'll have current structure that market is creating right here, a lower low, a lower high, a lower low, a lower high. So this still remain our current structural range on H4 until market is ready to what induce liquidity. So if market is ready to induce liquidity, where will we expect price to trade into? The next level we will expect price to trade into will be this upper level or this major imbalance right here, so which is this particular level. So based on this time frame, this is the current structure market is creating, higher high, 
Elo alo, elo hai, elo alo. Elo hai, elo alo, elo hai. So we have elo alo right here. So and before we become bullish, so I need market to break this high first before I become bullish on this pair. And if I become bullish on this pair, we will likely trade into we will trade into this structural range right here. So you can use uh, what is it called? Um, put report to know what you expect at least for the week or for the month. Mostly higher time frame view. It don't it don't give you lower time frame, but it gives you higher time frame view. So that means we expect market to run into this level. So if market break this, I expect market to run into this level. And uh, another area is this. This imbalance was not filled earlier on. So we have two PYs right here. First, this area. Second, this major imbalance right here. So this is my view on New Zealand USD. On AUD, currently market is bullish right here. It has traded into this major structure range right here. Since market has already traded into this major structure range, and uh, we have gotten a short term break of structure. So the next thing we expect of market is at least, if possible, we can have inducement of this high for market to trade into this imbalance level right here. So this is my next expectation of price. I expect markets to trade. The first thing is what if we have a bearish retracement right here into this level, then we can see higher level for some down push or get to this level before down push. So these are a major view on this uh, for the week. On USD card, from our overall outlook or chart of the week from last week, we saw how price pushed, uh, how Canadian dollar was able to push price down here into, into this major structure range. But market now has failed price below the structure low because this is a major structure, uh, major structure low. Consider it as what it is structure. Since market has failed to bring this low, the next expectation of price is that if we see price go a bit lower into this level, we can now expect at least price to drop deeper into this range before we see higher prices. Until then, currently, we are still bullish on this pair. So we can see a little bit higher movement into this level or we see lower price. So you can have this area as your POI. The rejection candle of it, that is the weak of the candle or the resistance level. You can mark out the resistance level right here. Right, so that is all for this week, and these are the major pairs I'm monitoring for this upcoming week. So, good luck, good trading.